Hey, what's up everybody? Comic Hoarder 210 here. Um, decided to show my face, even though it's nothing special to look at. Uh, you know, get a feel. No regular guy, just like all the rest of you guys. Uh, the haul I got here is, this is haul number four. And most of these books are from a flea market. I picked up and about the four, five last ones I'll be saving are from my connect I get who collects a lot of key issues and gives me like really, really great deals. But uh, so let's get started to the good stuff. Uh, Gotham Sirens, number 11. Um, these books are going up because of the whole movie and everything coming out and I recommend you get these now because they're hard to get a deal off. But the guy I got this for, I only got it for four bucks, but Roughly, these are going for like 10 or more dollars. So, I mean, if you find them, get them like before they go up in the prices. Uh, so, number 11. Then, I really like this one. Number 12. Like, man, Catwoman looks fucking hot. Um, yeah, and Harley is, you know, just doing her thing. Um, so... This book, too, is kind of in the $20 range. I don't know why, but I guess maybe because of the cover. It's a really good-looking cover. The art, the colors really stick out. And this one, Wonder Woman number 82. From what I hear, it's the second appearance of Aries, but I got it because of the cover. I really love how the blues stick out. And, of course, my girl Wonder Woman looking good. Um, yeah, this book roughly, like, I seen it go for 20, 30 bucks. Guy gave it to me for six, so couldn't turn it up. And it's in real good shape, too. This is like a 9.0, maybe 8.8, .8, but, hey, it's, it's for me, and I'm glad for what I got it for. Then we're going to go with, of course, Mighty Thor 238. Nothing significant about this book. Um, just, I have a thing for Thor comics, a lot of these older Thor comics, The Journey to Mystery. So I'm trying to complete a run with them. And yeah, this is just a good cover with Thor. And that's about it with this one. Uh, this next one, though, like, this is Thor 229. Um, so I've been hearing this. I just found this out recently. Like, this is, it has a coupon in here that's an early appearance of Wolverine back when he came out in 181. And they're saying, like, this is probably the third actual full appearance or second. And I don't like to really open my books, but I'm going to show you what I mean. Um, it sucks because I bought this and I got a deal. I only paid uh, eight bucks. This book's roughly like 25 to 30. Um, and the only thing that sucks is the coupon was cut out, but it's here. But like I said, it's not fully attached to the page. Just give me a couple seconds, guys. Like, just want you to check it out. Damn it. Got to look for it. And yeah, that'll take you forever. Here we go. So. coupon is right here you know, obviously sorry obviously right there and oh wait I'm sorry I totally fucked up yeah the coupons cut out but right there on the bottom you see the Hulk 181 appearance with the little glimpse of Wolverine and yeah that's cool it's cool and yeah here's the value stamp but also i'm missing the other piece that has ghost rider on it on the other side but i mean whatever it is what it is i'll find the other one eventually full and intact and i'll show that one whenever i get to it eventually so let me just put this back
pretty sure people are going to tell me, oh, don't put your comments in that way. But hey, I'm trying to be as delicate as I can, guys. But yeah, like I said, Thor 229. Look for it if you're into that sort of thing. But it's a good cover too, by the way. And of course, Spider-Man. Made Spider-Man 162. Nightcrawler, Punisher. Then of course, I love these old Tales to Astonish. Uh, Tales to Astonish, sorry. Tales to Astonish 82. Um, featuring Iron Man. Um, I really have a thing for these old Tales of Astonish and Tales of Suspense. I just have a thing for them. I don't know why, but I plan on collecting as much as the runs as I can. I got plenty of them, but um, this is just another add-on for the box. Tales of Suspense 89. Another great look. This is in great shape, too, by the way. Like, easily 8.0, maybe even higher. Another run. Tells us Suspense 91. It's a really great cover. Like, I don't know if you've ever seen my old videos, but there's something with me in these Silver Age books where Iron Man, the suit just pops out with the gold and the red. Like, I love it. I don't know why. It just, it sings to me for some reason. That's my thing. I just love these old Iron Man Silver Age. Like, it just pops. It looks so good. Then DC Presents, I mean, I think we all know these, this one by now, you know, first appearance of the new Teen Titans, you know, uh, Cyborg, Raven, Starfire, Robin, Beast Boy, I think that's all of them. Great cover too. Then Crisis on Infinite Earths number eight. We should all know this one by now, too. Death of the Flash. Great fucking cover, too. Like, this is, like, a 9.6. Maybe even a 9.8. This book is nice. Really nice. No fades or nothing. Like, like one, one small little tick, and that's it. Like, this book looks lovely. Lovely. But, yeah. Okay. Oh, and this one. Ooh. Surprised I came across this one. This one's been on my list for a long time, but it's one of those like it runs past my mind like It it clouds over me, but I always forget to actually look for it even though I've been whining in my collection Batman Legends of the Dark Knight number 50 the gold font Great looking cover. This too is like a 9.6 9.4 um, Joker with the smiling cat you can't get any better than that like Looks so, so, so good. Like, ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful cover. Beautiful. Cat looks wicked as shit, too. You don't wanna fuck with that. Uh, these two right here, these are from the flea market. I got these yesterday. And Spider Woman, number one. No, everyone knows this one. And everyone knows the next one by now, but look at this cover. This cover is so, so good. Marvel Spotlight number 32. Her first full appearance, even though I've been hearing around that this might not actually be it. But yeah, we'll go along for what, it, what it's known for. But this cover looks so, so good. This book is like 60. I've seen it go for 100. The guy I got it from, I've been collecting from him for a while. He gave it to me for 25 bucks. Not a bad deal at all. Like the only thing that sucks is there's a little chip right here. Like a little, little chip. But yeah, 25 bucks, fuck it, man. I mean, this cover, man. I just love Nick Fury right there, popping out with his gun. And she, uh, Spider Woman looks amazing. I mean, great, great cover. Man. Last two, I can't forget my boy, The Amazing Spider-Man number 40. Uh, 
The guy I got this from, he wanted 125 bucks. I got it from him for 60. This book's easily over 100. If you're lucky, you could get it lower. Uh, it's not in the best of shape. It has a little tear up here, a little spine tick. So like, like I said, it's like not the best looking one. But I mean, I'm glad to put it in my collection. I'm a big fan of the Green Goblin. I plan on getting the first full appearance of the Green Goblin eventually. I'm working on it, so give me some time. But yeah, number 40. Oh. Then we'll end it. Number 41. First full appearance of a first appearance of the Rhino. Uh, another one, uh, he wanted 105, 110. I dropped him down to 45. I've been going with this guy for years, so he's been giving me good deals. Um, yeah, like I said, like this book isn't in the greatest condition as well. There's a lot of, I mean, it's complete spine ticks, a little small tear running through, but you know what? Glad I never had it. I have it now. I'll upgrade later down the line, but hey, it looks beautiful and I love it. 